Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 21 Sunderland Road to Glory Career Mode. So in this episode we are going to be rounding off the month of January 2023. We're going to quick sim this game against Blackpool in the FA Cup. Yeah, we'll quick sim that one. Then we'll round off the month of January by playing the game away from home uh, in a league against Watford. And then we're going to head over into February where we're going to end the episode with the game away from home against Manchester City. And we'll look at the next episode as well. Two Europa League games and two games in the league against Manchester United and Arsenal. So a huge, huge episode there. But as we say in this episode, we're going to start off against Blackpool. Now, of course, we are still in transfer window and I've looked at your guys' suggestions. And the only sort of suggestions really now, because we have about five or six million left in the bank, uh, the only sort of option, the kind of player that I would want to improve on is the goalkeeper. That has become a bit of an issue over the last few games or at least the last few episodes. Van der Voort, although he's very young, he's only 20, he's rated 79, he's going to keep getting better and better, and he has one of the highest potential goalkeepers in the game, he has one of the highest potentials, should I say, in terms of ra sorry, in terms of rating, but the only way we could really improve him is if we went for someone crazy like a, a Donnarumma or a Dean Henderson, and don't get me wrong, I've had a look at both of them off camera, and we, there's no way we could even perform that. If we sold Van der Voort, we'd get about 30 million, but we to replace him, we need a lot more than 30 million, if that makes sense. Um, if we want to get someone who's actually better than him in terms of rating. So I think for the time being, I'm going to at least leave it to the end of the season with Van der Voort. You know, it hasn't been awful throughout his time with us. It's just this season in the Premier League, he's making countless mistakes and he looks really, really shaky between the sticks. But we will give him the benefit of doubt and uh, leave it at least till the end of the season. But for now, let's quick sim this game away from home against Blackpool. And we will use a full strength squad for it because... I just want to try and get a win under our belts, keep some players happy. Quick sim, will we get the win? Come on, lads, surely. Surely, one all. Oh, it's going to be another replay. Probably got a bit too cocky for me, I'm good, didn't I? Thinking that our first team squad was guaranteed three points. Well, sorry, at least a win against Blackpool in that quick sim game. But as you can see there on the right-hand side, or it did show it a second ago, Harry Maguire has gone to Spurs, which is a pretty big sign in there. Now, that is confirmation that... Manchester City have withdrawn their offer for Isaac French, which was around 116 million. I could have pushed up as far as 170 million. And surprisingly, you guys were very supportive that I did reject that because he has been our mascot. You know, he's, he's come through the youth system from the beginning. You know, I, I think if we did sell him, we could maybe sprinkle the squad with a good two or three players that are worth like 40, 50 million. And it would have looked very rosy. But at the same time, this man is going to be one of the best strikes in the game. In the, uh, by the come the end of this season or the season after. Do you know what I mean? He's always going to be there as one of the best strikers. What's the point in getting rid of him? Because we're never going to get anyone who's going to replace him. But now we are going to be taking on bottom of the league at Watford. We have Van der Voort in goal. Hume, Adrabayo, Kwasi and Lamptey across the back. Kwasi, of course, making his debut for us there. Well, I say his debut. It's the first time we're going to start him in a game rather than just in a quick sim game. We have French starting on the left-hand side today with Midwecki on the right. Bryce and Gravenberch in the middle. Because I want Ricky J. Jones to partner Jao Pedro up top. Let's get into it. It's a great ball. Can we get there first? No, we can't. And Rabio's been done over here. And it's a save by Van der Voort. Something we haven't seen in a while. A save from the man. Help him out. I can see. Brighty, is he onside? Please say he is. Yes, he is. Knock it across goal if he can. Surely. Finish it. It's in. It's 1 0. And it's Ricky J. Jones. We haven't seen him in quite some time. But he is back with a bang. And it's a ferocious finish. Get in. From one youngster to another, it was Brighty who really well made that space on the left. Drives it inside to Ricky J. Jones. It's a lovely finish from him. Typical finish from him. Seven goals for him so far in the Premier League this season. Lovely start to the game. Devin Hume, try and slide in. Ricky J. Jones, if he can get there first. Yes, he can. Too much pace for him, it is. Ricky J. Jones tried to be cheeky. Is it going in? And it's in. I have no idea who it came off last. It was a really good effort from Ricky J. Jones with the chip. But who was bundling it over the line? Was it actually Joe Pedro? It was a really cheeky effort, it's got to be said. I thought it was going to dip in. It's hit the far post. It's come back. That has to be an own goal. That has to be an own goal. It does come back. Is it an own goal? Yes, it is. It's 100% an own goal. And it has been awarded so to a great Dawson. <laughs> what confusion that was. I'm just shouting at the microphone, but not having a clue what the hell happened. 2-0. <laughs> Come on. Get there first. Get there first. Oh, Adam Rabayo's been done here. He's up against Kowatsi. Can he get over to him? No, he can't. Get over. It's a good chance. And it's a shot that's gone wide. All over the place there defensively. Vargas now. Just for half time. Adrabio's been done there. Hume trying to clean up. Back to 
His man is Dennis now on the edge. Go over to him, go over to him. It's a great block there by Kwasi. Managing to knock it on. Graven Birch now turns his man. Switch the play to Denver Hume. Down the line for Frenchie to chase. Can he hook it across goal? He does try to. It's a great ball as well. It's in. It's 3-0. Right on the stroke of half time. It's Ricky J. Jones. Oh, what a counter attack that was. Getting absolutely cracking there. Puts it down left-hand side. French, he volleys it across goal and ends up being inch perfect for Ricky J. Jones and an even more perfect finish to make it 3-0. No wonder these guys are bottom of the league. I say that, but we've literally had three chances, proper chances anyway, and scored them all. They've had a chance or two as well of their own, but it is half-time. It's just a case of who's more clinical, and luckily for us, it's us. Corner by Frenchy. Can anyone get ahead on it? Yes, they can. It's Adra Bayo, and there we are. It's 4-0 with... Started this second half just as we ended the first pepper in that goal. And is it Kwasi? It is Kwasi who gets it. His first goal for the club. Get in. Whips in. Leaps above the rest. It's an absolutely thumping header. No chance at all for the keeper. Putting it into that far corner. Willinson. Oh, get it away, get it away, get it away. It's Queen uh, now on the edge of the box. Can we get a foot in here? Surely someone get a block on. Great block. Get it away. Now it is French. I can't see a thing because of the lighting. Flick it backwards if you can. Now it is Ricky J. Jones. Pull it back. Calm the player down. I can see Bryce making a move. Flick it one more time towards Frenchy. Can he get it across goal? He does. Finish it. It's in. It's five. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. On oh, what a strike. What a finish. And what a move that was. Jesus Christ. Five nil. Everything is just going our way in this episode. So far anyway. What a finish. That is by the young man up against his former club. 13 goals for him as well. I can't believe we've scored five in the game, let alone it just being against bottom of the league. But now here's a good chance for them. Is this going to be 5 1? They are wriggling through our defence quite easily, aren't they? They just keep holding the ball up and they've got one back. It's 5 1. 25 minutes ago, plenty of goals in this game. And it's Dennis who gets it. Look, it's just the way they wriggle with the ball. It's that close touch. It's so difficult to do anything or judge where they're going to go. Luckily, we already have five goals to our to our name. So it's not that bad conceding now. But a clean sheet would have been nice. Oh, it's a good chance. That was Dennis with the effort. And Watford, since we got that fifth, seem to wake up. Maybe that's what it takes for Watford this season, concede five and then they'll try. Can we maybe try and find Madraki? Is he on side? Yes, he is. Still Madraki. Can we try and fit it across goal? He tries to. Is this going to be another? Yes, it is. Easy as you like. 6-1. 15 minutes to go. This has been a rout. An absolute demolition of Watford. And they seem to be heading down to the championship this season. Even in January, I can quite comfortably say that. Because they have been horrendous. Every time we go forward, we score. Well, that's lovely football now, and it is Graven Birch trying to find his man. He's going to find Jones. Can he hit it first time on the volley? He can. Surely no, this is going to be seven. It is. It's seven one. I was literally just chilling there, being cocky. Never thought in a million years that they'd go in or we'd make a proper chance or score from there. But we do. Everything we touch is turned to gold in this game. Watford are so bad. It was just a hoof ball over the top. One touch, bang. I was going for glory there. Didn't think we'd get back on the end of it, but we do. It's Frenchy. He adds to his tally now. That is 14 goals for him. Seven minutes to go. And it's 7-1. <laughs> this is madness. Absolute madness. The chance. Is it going to be 7-2 here? Hold him up. Hold him up. Don't let him get the ball in. Don't let him cross it in. Don't well in. That'll do. A couple of minutes left. Can we maybe get forward and make it eight? I can see Frenchy. Can we send a hoofed ball? Yes, we can. It's a cracking ball as well, that. Cut inside if you can. That's terrible. But the whistle is going to go. Surely it has done 7-1. I think that's our biggest victory this series. I think, anyway. I'll probably have to look though. But I think that is our biggest victory of this series. 7-1 against Watford. And as I mentioned earlier, I will bet money that Watford are going down this season. I bet money. <laughs> if they don't, I'll be very, very surprised. Look at that as well, though. We had 12 shots. They had six, so they were making efforts. They had more possession than us. We just scored every time we shot, pretty much. But now we are heading towards transfer deadline day, and I really can't imagine anything happening, unless something like someone offers like 60, 70 million for Van der Voort or something, and then we go and get another really highly rated goalkeeper. That's the only thing I'd be open to. I don't really fancy selling anyone else. We've got a really good balance going in the squad right now. 
I feel like it'd be needless to sell anyone. If maybe Willis got a transfer offer, I think I'd probably take that. But he is injured, so he'd fail all the medical anyway. Also, guys, I have seen a couple of comments, or at least a few comments, since the series began, asking about uh, pre-contracts. And I'm not saying that pre-contracts aren't in this game, and I, but I don't know whether it's glitched for mine, or at least for this save, because I know that there are some players in this game that 100% only have five, six months left on the contract, but it won't allow me to try and um, sign them on a pre-contract. It won't let me do that. It literally just says that that, that this player is, has been at the club since X amount of time. And then if I go to approach the player to buy, it's just the usual, but it, it don't, won't let me just do a straight sort of contract offer for a, a pre-contract. And, and it's not as if that the team that they play for has offered them a new contract, because if I go to loan, or you know try and loan them, it'll say that their contract is too short. So you so they can't you can't loan them basically. So there's a glitch of some kind where I'm never going to be able to get a pre-contract in this series because it won't allow me to do it. It's just hidden and won't let me do it. But now we are going to be quick sim in this game against Blackpool. Uh, it is the FA Cup replay at the stage of the line. I'll quick sim it. It is our second string squad that I'm going to use. Is it going to be good enough? I don't really care to be honest with you anymore. Yes, it is good enough. Of course it is. When we use our full strength squad, we draw one all. We use our second string, we win 4-1. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, and the scout reports have just come back. And there's this guy here, Uri Flores. 5'5", five five, not the biggest. 17 years of age. But his overall is anywhere between 59 and 79. And he's worth 2 million. We are signing him. That is absolutely insane. No one else. I've checked both of the other um, scout reports. Nothing. He's the only one. Let's have a look at this guy. This could be an absolute worldie. If it said that it's anywhere between, what, nearly 79 was the max, wasn't it? Please don't be like 61 now. That would really, really upset me. I want it to be like at least late 60s. That would be cool. 65. Okay, that isn't terrible. It's not awful. But you're right. Flores, a creative midfielder, it looks like. A potential between 79 and 94. Skill moves, three star. Weak, weak foot, sorry. Five star. It looks very well-rounded, in all fairness. looks very well-rounded indeed. I think we'll just keep improving him. And uh, he should be a very decent player. I'm really happy with that one. If you look at the other two, it's just people have been keeping an eye on. Nothing massive, to be honest with you. I'll change his development plan and try and get him a little bit better. Oh, I'm still a little bit good. I mean, 65 is a decent rating, don't get me wrong. But because it said the maximum could be 79, it would have been really nice if it was like early 70s or something. That would be brilliant, but... That's probably the best one we've got so far. But now we are going to be taking on top of the league, Manchester City. As you can see, we are currently on 45 points. We're 14 points away from them. So we're not getting anywhere near them. Come the end of the season, you wouldn't think anyway. But we could mount a very decent attempt to go for the top four, which is something I never thought we'd be doing this season. I thought maybe mid-table would be great. We started off so poorly. I thought it was going to be a relegation battle all season, but we've picked it up. And we've improved, and I definitely think we could mount a decent challenge for the top four. So this is the side I'm going to be using against Manchester City. We have Van der Voort in goal, Hume, Andrew Bayo, Mavropanos, Lamptey, Nelson, Carvalho, Graven, Birch, Madweke with Frenchy and João Pedro up top. This is the more conventional side that we usually see as my starting 11, or at least my first squad starting 11, because... Uh, the previous game, it took a lot out of um, a lot of the players. So we pretty much have like an exhausted bench as well. But we're going to be taking on Manchester City. What a side they have there. De Bruyne, Goretzka particularly in the middle. I'm a big, big fan of Goretzka. Sterling, Jesus and Silva up top as well. The Port and Jimenez is going to be difficult to get past in defence as well. But let's get into it. And here we are at the Etihad. What a game this is going to be. I can't imagine it being anything like the previous game against Watford where we absolutely demolished them. There it is, Mavropanos leading us out today. It's him with the armband. Not too sure why Carvalho doesn't have the armband with him today, but either way, it's a huge test. I'll happily take a point if I'm completely honest, but a win will be absolutely amazing. No, 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 boys. Tuck him on. It's like the time waste today. What are they trying to achieve? Well, they do have Goretzka now. Whips it across towards Silva. It's a great chance. It's a good save, as to be said, from Van der Voort there. Silva with the effort. Powered around the post. For a corner, Silva to take, gets it towards an air post, and that should have been Van der Voort's that. Why he's left that to the defence to sort out, I don't know. But now here's Rodri, Sterling on the edge of the box, don't foul him. Good chance, great save, get it away. Jesus Christ, we're getting battered here. But now here is Madrake, can he pass the ball, please? Get up, get up, get up. Oh, now just let him have it, for some reason. Jesus Christ. 
Here comes the rage. Great challenge, though. Now, can we break forward? No, we can't because you go straight to them. Come on, French. Hit him. Well in. Good challenge. I'm getting pissed off now, as you can tell. <laughs> Off topic, by the way. I'm currently into day three of quitting smoking my e-cigarette. So, uh, rage is going to be in large amounts and large quantities, you would think, in the coming episodes. Because <laughs> I'm now three days almost without touching an e-cigarette at all. In fact, I've binned it. So I'm going to be very stressed. Just know that. <laughs> Sterling now pulls it back. It's a great chance. It's a tight angle. And it's gone in at the near post. Yet again, Van der Voort. Absolute joke of a goalkeeper. Absolute joke. It's another goal. Yet another goal he has conceded at the near post. He just flops. Whenever there's a chance at the near post, he just flops. It's terrible, terrible goalkeeping. Why didn't I just bite the bullet and just sell him? I really should have done. It's, it's absolutely atrocious. De Bruyne now holding the play up. Get over to him, man. Please. Well in, well played. Can we actually get it out of our own half? No, we can't because the pass goes straight to that player. Of course it does. No power on the pass. Although I put a lot of power on the pass. Easily taken pass there. It's a good block. Get it out, man. Please. Just get it down the line. That'll do. On to Carvalho. Can he find his man again? Back to Nelson. I can see some movement in the middle. Please, find him at the back post. It's a great ball as well. Can he get there? He can. And it's going to go out for a corner. Come on, come on. Get it away, get it away, get it away. That'll do. Oh, come on. We're just about to break. But either way, 1-0 at half time. It could be a lot worse. We haven't played well at all. The rage is building. Can we please just put a decent performance together? That's all he asked for in this second half. That goal that Goretzka scored, it should have been saved. It should still be nil-nil. Don't get me wrong, I think City probably deserved the lead, but they haven't made the chances to get in front other than that shot that should have gone easily into the hands of Van der Voort. But he's let it in. Now here is Frenchy straight away. Can he try and slip it through? He just tried to get the touch there. Will in. It is. Come on, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Get it cross goal, get it cross goal. Can we get ahead in it? Yes, we can. No, we can't. F*** off. Savage now, new man for Manchester City. Can we get there? No, we can't. They're too quick. Come on, go, go. Why would you pass it straight to him? So simple, that pass. Come on, please say that's our ball. It is. Nothing is going our way in this game. Don't get me wrong, the Watford game, literally everything went our way. But just a tiny little simple pass. They're going straight to their players. We're getting bullied off the ball again. Get it away. Please don't pass it straight to him. It's passed it to the wrong player, and they've just given it them. Just get it away. It's just not allowing us to get control of the ball. Give him the game, mate. Give him the game. Fucking ridiculous. Oh, can't be arsed. Really can't be arsed, guys. Not going to lie. Can't be bothered. Three or four times I've tried to pass it away, and it's aimed for the opposition every single time, every opportunity. 2-0. Sterling now. Get into him, get into him, get into him. Angelino aches of space because Madweke can't be arsed tracking back. Here is Kevin De Bruyne. Angelino again. Good block. Please, now, when we clear it, please don't go straight to that player. Get it away. It's a great ball, actually. <laughs> Try and find Pedro. Send him. Big touch, son. Big touch. Keep going. You're faster than Laporte. You're faster than Laporte. Pull it back inside if you can. Pull it back. Surely. Finish it. Oh, it's a save. Our first chance this entire second half. That should have been 2-1. What a chance. It fell for frigging Carvalho as well, of all players. Bryce and Bellingham are going to come on for the final sort of 12, 13 minutes because Carvalho has just been so slow in this game. Hasn't really improved us in any way. And we're going to make a mess here, aren't we? I can just feel it. We're going to make a mess. Thank God that went to our player. But yeah, I was watching bringing a little bit of youth in the middle. Maybe get that a little bit more pace. But I do find Joe Pedro here now. Big touch, Sean. Big touch. Can we sweat it? Surely. Finish it. There we go. It's 2-1. Ten minutes to go. We've done it. Jesus Christ. Come on. That has put me in a much better mood, guys. That has put me in a much better mood. Sweat it. Oh, we've accidentally cancelled the replay. But that'll do. It's fine. Come on. Eight minutes to go. Can we get an equaliser? Laporte now with a free kick to hoof it forward. It's gone straight to Bellingham. He's headed it. To Frenchy, can we maybe get a little counter-attack here? It's a great touch. Help him. Go inside if you can. One more time. On towards Pedro. Good son. Straight down the middle. Keep going. Finish it. Can he make it 2-2? Yes, he can. There's four minutes to go. And it's Joe Pedro. Get in. I can't believe it. I absolutely can't believe it. It's completely undeserved. He's managed to drag it away from his man. Lash it past Edison to make it 2-2. 
Jesus Christ, end the game here. End the game here, please. I need to lie down. <laughs> Blow the whistle, don't keep it in. He can't, and there we go. The whistle has gone. 2-2. Two, two. I said before the game I'd take a draw and I would 100% stick by that because we did not deserve to win that game whatsoever. Pep Guardiola, I do apologise, mate. We've absolutely done you over there, son. 2-2. Two, two. And with that 2 all draw away from home against Manchester City, we remain in fifth place on 46 points. City remain top of the league, just three points ahead of their neighbours, Manchester United. Chelsea in third, Spurs in fourth. We're in fifth, of course, with Arsenal and Liverpool and Everton following on. Now with the bottom three, we have Brighton, West Brom and Watford. Watford, of course, with a minus 33 goal difference now, which is crazy. They've conceded plenty of goals this season. 54 in total, the worst defensive record in the league. And um, it doesn't surprise me, given that we scored seven against them earlier on. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this episode, guys, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care. Stay. Jump it.